Okay, gang, let's do um, just a couple more problems here. These just have like more layers to our chain rule. So if I look at this, I have the root here, and then I have the secant, and then I have the power inside of here. Even on number 10, um, we start out, we have the x to the fourth farthest on the inside, and then we have a tangent, and then we have a cosine, and then we have a sine. So there's just many, many layers. Not necessarily a lot of simplifying that we can do. We just have to make sure that we get all of our derivatives. When I look at this, um, I'm going to start out and... The first thing I notice is that I have my root, and then inside the root I have the secant, and then inside the secant we have the x cubed. So there's going to be three derivatives we take, just copying along the way with everything else. So for this problem, we're going to do dy dx, that means find y prime derivative, dy dx is equal to um, first, the power rule. Actually, and I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to think of this root as a one-half power. So first, we're going to do the power rule, and we have one-half, and then everything to the negative one-half. Remember, all of this stuff inside there, we will be copying the secant of x cubed. Now we're done with the root, and now we're moving on to the secant. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent. Remember, inside my secant, I have this x cubed, and so that's the part that's staying the same. That's the derivative of the next layer. And now we're done with the secant part, and now we're going to take the derivative of the x cubed, and the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, our final derivative is going to be, um, if I were to simplify this, I'm going to put this guy in the denominator because of the negative exponent. And I do have the 2 that goes in the denominator, so I'm going to think of this as a fraction. I have 2 square root of secant x cubed. And on top, we have 3x squared secant x cubed, tan x cubed. If you want to go crazy, um, people might reduce those two right there because they are both secants, one of them with a power of one and one of them with a power of one half, and they could subtract those, but for all practical purposes, right there is the derivative of the square root of secant of x cubed. The next one that we have here, taking the derivative of all of this stuff, remember starting on the outside and working our way in through all of the layers. My outside function is the sine, then we go to the cosine, then we go to the tangent, and then finally we go to the x to the fourth. So we have to work our way through all of that. My derivative, f prime of x, is the derivative of the sine first, which is cosine. And remember all of this stuff copies, and I'm not gonna change any of that. The cosine of the tan of x to the fourth and then I'm done with the sine, so now I'm going to move on to the cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. And remember again, I leave all of this the same. Tan of x to the fourth, and now I'm done with cosine. Then I take the derivative of the tangent, which is secant squared of something, and again, my something is my x to the fourth. And then I'm done with my tangent. And then I take the derivative of the x to the fourth. It would be 4x cubed. That would be my derivative. If anything, the only thing I could do would be to move the negative and the 4x cubed out to the front. f prime of x would be negative 4x cubed 
cosine of the cosine of tan x to the fourth times sine of tan x to the fourth times secant squared of x to the fourth. And that is all we can do for the derivative of that one. The last question that we have here, we need to find the equation of the tangent line. In order to do the equation of a tangent line, we need to take the derivative of y, and this does have the root on there, so we have a function inside of the root. We'll calculate the slope using that negative two. So the first thing we're going to do is our chain rule with those two functions. My derivative, y prime, is going to be, remember this is a one-half, one-half, everything to the negative one-half power, everything being the 4x plus 12, and then I multiply it times the derivative of the inside, which is 4. I need to do all of this at negative 2, so I can just plug in my negative 2 right now. 1 half and 4 times negative 2 plus 12 to the negative 1 half power times 4. Calculate that. Negative 8. Negative 8 plus 12 is 4 to the negative 1 half, which is the square root. And then move it to the bottom. So I have 1 half times 1 over the square root of 4, multiplied times 4. Square root of 4 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 1 fourth is 1. That is my slope value. Now I need my point. Remember the point comes from plugging this directly into the problem y equals the square root of 4 times negative 2 plus 12, square root of negative 8 plus 12, square root of 4 is 2, negative 2, 2 is my point, slope is 1, equation of the tangent line, is y minus 2 equals 1 times x minus negative 2 or x plus 2. And that would be the equation of the tangent line to this function. Remember Going back to your graphing calculator, graph the equation of your tangent line, graph your function, and look on your picture for your tangent line. If it's wrong, you will notice right away. Hope those make sense to you. If you have questions, please bring them back to class. I would love to go through these. Um, good luck, and we'll talk to you later.